Hello guys, and today we are going to be playing Dark. And today we are going, this is my final episode on Dark. And oh my god, I have, I have a Twitch Studio overlay. I did not realize that this game had Twitch Studio. That I literally just sorted out my Discord overlay for this. And I didn't realize it incorporated Twitch Studio overlay. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get this started. And I need to tweet that I am live. <laughs> so, over here. I feel like this is a secret. But when I did this, I could not figure it out. For the life of me. So... I'm sorry, I'm just tweeting that I'm live. Yeah, I could not figure out how you do this. Yeah, how you get to here, right here. So, okay. I think because you need the head here. Um. Wait, has Discord like sent out the notification? I don't know, not yet. Um, okay, so let's go up here, and then, um, I think we need to go down here, and then there's this head port thing, <laughs> we need to put our, that is thine head, and, uh, let's go in here. And oh my god, this is a frustrating puzzle. So what we have to do is hit each of these arrows like within a certain time limit. Oh no, I'm not going to hit it. I'm not going to hit the time limit. No, I am not. Uh, it is right there. Oh, God. This. No. Oh, no. Okay, let's get that one up there. Then there we go. Okay, there we go, everybody. Let's go. Okay, and oh, it's out the notification. Okay, 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 okay. If we need the heads, go through that hole. And I need the lever for here. Yeah, I need the lever for there. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's put the head there first. And oh no. Okay, I think these first two puzzle puzzles are the most annoying ones, in my opinion. This one here is an annoying one. Uh, let's move that one like that. Okay, this one needs to go down. This needs to go up. Uh, let's put that one down. Okay, that will turn into a coffin. Okay. Okay. Um, that one needs to go down and that one needs to go back up. Um, that one needs to go up. Um, Let's just see. Um, uh, I hate. I absolutely hate this puzzle. I'm just gonna look up like. 
uh, like a walkthrough on how to do this one because I hate it with every single fiber of my being. Okay, so Okay, I've literally almost got it right as well. Um I think if I do that one one lower and then that one one up, maybe. No. That one down and then that one one up. No. <laughs> this Uh, this is why we have the internet. <laughs> uh, um. Oh, do I need? Do I need to put maybe that one down, that one up, and that one down? Wait, which one am I doing wrong? Oh, it's that middle one there. It's that middle one there that I'm doing wrong. Okay, thank you, YouTube, for those amazing insights. Uh, okay. Okay. We can now walk through. Now we need to grab this one. Okay, I really like this puzzle, but I also don't like it at the same time. <laughs> you get what I mean? It's like frustrating, but kind of fun. Okay, put that back in. I activate the puzzle. And then, for me, I don't really have a strategy to this one. I'm literally just... Do it randomly until you get it right. Um, you know, I think this one could trigger vertigo, so I'm gonna. Wait, why isn't it? I'll just go back and go. Yeah, okay. Didn't realize I need to put that there, so I'm gonna put it now, okay. And why did stream elements just suddenly go offline? There we go, there we go, okay. Okay. And I need to reset the puzzle. Because <laughs> I have done it wrong. That one up there. Uh, get that one across to then down and then across, down, across. <laughs> this is literally just like me doing random stuff on dark. Well, I need to finish this DLC and then I'll finish this DLC and then uh, that'll be it for dark. Uh, uh, get 
set that school one up and then uh, get the key one across uh, put that one up like that no across down across and then down again and then across oh no I had this problem before oh no down I need to reset the puzzle again don't I because I've had this problem before where I will like do this puzzle and then it would just be the key and the um ank one that I need to do. But I can't do it because they're like on opposite sides and like every time I try and do it it just won't work. Okay. So that one is there. Let's try and get That key one. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got the skull one in. So we just need to get the key one in now. And let's put the head back on the floor. Uh, pass us that wall segment. Pass us the wall segment. Wait, there might be a secret on top of this roof. Roof. The ceiling, on the ceiling, even. Uh, so, uh, let's put the wall segment in there, and let's see. Uh, okay. We have a quartz skull found. Wait, that goes from the other place, I think, <laughs> at the start, so, um, okay, there's something in this mask room, oh my god, <laughs> uh, I hate, okay, we have the lever, which we need, oh yeah, I need, which we need for, which we need for, um, this here, not the wall segment, put the lever in, flick it. Now I'll open that, so, we go over, um, retrieve the head, and then, Okay, put our head in. Put the neck in here. And just like vibe with the head. I gotta say, I love the concept of um, like using a head, using the head. I think that, as like on its own, is like an amazing concept. The noises. It's not so bad, like, the actual visuals, just the noises, like, get me every time. Um, I think we might need something from the top floor for this, so we can just... Yeah, we do need something from there. We need, like, a tile thing. So let's bring the head back around. onto this wooden platform. And then how we, how is this kid functioning without a head? I mean I know it's not like kind of biologically accurate but still. And you know with like this whole thing being in like grayscale. You know what I've been thinking is that 
this is like like the colors it's like excellently done i have got to say Okay, I think I need to remove this. Okay, I need to. Okay, I need to move down second one. I need to move that second one around. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I need to move that first one. Okay. Okay, I think that that one there needs to go there. That one needs to go there. We also need to move it while. While it's like, you know, <laughs> moving around, you know. So. Um, okay, that is one key. These, like, jump scares are, like, amazingly done. Like I was saying before, um. Oh yeah, I need to take the wall segment out. Like I was saying before, the the grayscale of this brilliantly done. I must say. Like the visuals the like actual visuals. Like it makes me think that there's actual colour, like I'm sure it's like a hint of colour, like if you check on like the colour, like, you know those colour scale things, it's probably like a hint of colour, but as you can see it's like mostly, you know, like black, white and grey, and even then it's like an off-white, and like there are some hints of colour, like, like the green on that head, on that thing you put your neck into, and the red lever there. But honestly, it's not too much that, like, it stands out. And have I gone into here? No, I don't have the right thing for it, though. So, oh, I have forgotten on what to do. Um... Let's go through here. Just like run around and start checking on like every interactable thing. Oh wait, I forgot about this part here. Um, okay, let's bring the head through here. And... I knew I was forgetting a puzzle. Um, let's bring the head over here because, yeah, there's a part where I can go through. And then, put my head in, put the neck even. I'm kind of used to saying head. Uh, what time is it? Half seven, okay. Because this is just going to be dark, <laughs> dark stream. Okay. Let's go through here. Uh, put the head into here. Just my dude's rolling, just so we can actually like move it when we're done. Okay. Okay. Let's move down there. That key can go there. Um. Let's get the arms bent up first, though. Skull goat can go there for now. Wait. That ank can go there. That key can go there. Uh, okay, that one has skull, so I might as well move that skull to that pit there. And then the eye can move there. Skull can move there. And then the key... 
You know what? Let's move the eye. Okay, I've not done this in a total, like, best amount of moves. You know what? Let's move the eye there. There, and then this skull can go in its right place. That is the key one. And then the eye can go there. Um, the key can, the keys can just all move there. Love how I like originally started to fill up the ankh and then eventually just filled up like every other one. Yeah. And there we go. Okay. Oh, I think we get the thing from this coffin here. Yes, okay, the scratch coin. Okay, we need this. Okay, we need to bring the head with us. Wait a second, I want to check something. Okay, no, the head cannot go through there. Hmm. Wait. Am I able to put the wall segment there? No. Okay. Okay, we need to go... Where was the scratch card? It was... Down here. I need to move this over to the other side. Oh yeah, I need to bring the head over to the other side. Okay, scratch card. I need the head to go on the on the top on the ceiling. So why he walked like that? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly have no idea, let's be honest. Uh okay. So we need the uh move this to here I feel like in this level specifically the um, puzzles are like really frustrating like on the uh, coffin one earlier that one was like almost impossible to figure out without a walkthrough so okay I need to start off this one so this is gonna give I'm gonna need to concentrate on this one. Wait, no, 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 I did it wrong. There we go. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's see if I can do this first try. Oh my god, first try. It's almost like I did it before. I've done it before. Okay, that has opened up. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this over to here for now. And then let's grab this, which is the second skull key. Now, I want to try. I want to check something real quick because uh, I want to check something because there was a locked door at the start so I'm wondering if that was either something to do with if that's like a no not like a locked door but like this there's this here, and I have no idea how to get to it. So. Um. Like. Is there something on these walls that can help me out? Like, it 
feels like there's so something should be there on the other side of the wall if you get what I'm doing. If you get what I'm saying. Wait. I felt like I could just glitched something. I felt like I just glitched. Wait, I pressed E. What the fuck? What was that? I feel like I just like glitched. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, that was to the. Uh oh. I don't think it was a glitch though. But like. I mean, that might have been intentional. So. I mean, I don't think I can go on the, that roof. But, like, that was weird, right? Uh, let's jump over to here, okay. Okay, I'm just trying to see if there's like any secrets or anything I can click on. Okay, um, uh, okay, we need to put our head uh, onto there to knock those lights out, and then. Okay, use the school key. Wait, can I walk on this wall? No, I cannot. Okay. Okay, that is closed. That is officially closed. Okay. So, there are no more secrets that I can do in this final cutscene. Okay, we lay in here. And then we switch to the head. And then I think we merge together. So I'm just going to check over here to see if there's, there's no, I don't think there's any secrets over here. I hate how you move this coffin. Ah, uh, yes, I'm moving coffin, yes. <laughs> and if you are <laughs> totally normal, yes, totally normal. If you are, like, any sort of familiar with the dark game, if this isn't, if you have watched me play the main story, this is actually the main game. This is, like, the bedroom you start off in, and... Wait, I didn't realize on my first playthrough of this, but the bed is missing. And when I f and it's like Lloyd dead. Has Lloyd been dead? I've never seen this game before, but it seems interesting. It really is. And okay, that is the end of the DLC. But I want to talk about it. Talk about like this entire game. And also, it doesn't say continue, but I have finished all. Like seven of these chapters, and plus both DLCs as well. So I want to talk about this game. So is like Lloyd dead? Like, does he die at the end of the game, or does he like, does he like, does he die like maybe in like the DLC, or does he die in like these main chapters here? Because the end of chapter seven would probably suggest that he dies then maybe because it looks like he's going through like like I guess like a heaven a gateway to heaven or something and like maybe like these were like 
like his past like nightmares or whatever. Like we know that they're, like they're nightmares, obviously. But like, was he just and like? It's very specific that they would choose seven chapters, like the seven deadly sins. Okay, maybe I'm just over theorizing this. Um, but. I don't think I don't think there is a lot of other people playing Dark at the moment, at least on Twitch. Uh, let me look up the like category for Dark. There are only like two other people playing this, other than me. So, like, I don't know. Like, literally, if you look up Dark right now, it there are. Obviously, a lot of people have, like, played it because there are a ton of videos on it, but out of the out of the actual live channels, it's just me and two other people. Let me check out this other person real quick. One of them is in Portuguese, so I'm not going to watch that one because reasons. And this person isn't even playing Dark. They're playing Valorant. So there's one other person playing. Oh, they must have switched from Dark to Valorant. Okay. Uh, like, I like there are only two other people like playing this game. So, okay. So, are there any secrets in any of those chapters slash sections? There are secrets that you can collect, but I personally haven't found them all um but i think i think there is a uh, let me check actually uh yes yeah, so there's um one channel called super horror bro he, he has pl i've i've actually first heard about this game from him and he has located like the six dream journals that are in the main game. Okay. So um he has also done videos on the DLC both DLCs as well. He did the DLC about a year ago and then about the main game about two years ago. But if you just search up Super Horror wait, let me just get up the um playlist i shall um post the link into chat so that is the link to part one uh, oh that is the link to the playlist that is the link to the playlist uh i haven't watched his full playthrough i've only watched his story explained and I've only watched his story explained video. Hey guys. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, there are, and there are other secrets in the. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, Mania. Um, there are, are other secrets in the DLC as well, like in the crypts. There are the like skull things, the crystal skulls, but I don't think it's a lot of videos on the crystal school on finding the schools so i don't think they have too much importance but also so i was thinking it's i think lied died towards the end of the main game because those are dream journals so it would more it would more inclined to me that he's asleep asleep and he just and those are like the first and like the seven chapters are his nightmares and then he di he dies in the seventh chapter and then in the DLCs those are like more of his nightmares I guess is that a dark wiki actually not like a wikipedia but like a game wiki Okay, Dark Game. So, there's an official Dark website. Okay. Died in his sleep. Oof. 
that's not like canon or anything. That's just like my theory. Okay, so this is coming from the. Okay, let me just exit out of dark and switch to just chatting. Just a second. Let me just start my stream. A second. Uh, top. Uh, let's just switch up my category because we're no longer in the dark. We're not no longer playing the game. Um. So. Um. Dark tells the by tells the story of a of Lloyd, a bar who becomes aware of the fact that he is dreaming. To Lloyd's misfortune, the dream quickly. Since it's a nightmare, and all attempts to wake up end in failure. So my that kind of hints towards my theory of um, that he died in his sleep towards the end of the main game. While exploring the darkest corners of his subconscious, Lloyd learns how to survive the nightmares by bending the laws of physics and manipulating the fluid fabric, fabric of the dream world. So... Um, going on the walls and the ceiling and stuff like we've seen in the um in like you just seen um apart from gravity defying puzzles Lloyd will have to use stealth when around enemies we didn't see that too too much in the dlc but we did see that a lot during the main seven chapters uh hello puppet hello danny um <laughs> how are we feeling today pretty good i just finished um the crypt dlc for dark so we're just like talking about its lore and stuff like that um i might end stream soon because i have stuff to do i have revising to do so um, and i'm up early tomorrow so um he has no chance of winning in an open open confrontation since the creatures he will encounter are much more powerful and faster than him Instead, he has to rely on careful plan planning to avoid getting detected. Okay, so in the main game, um, there was this one enemy towards the end of the... I think it was in chapter... Was it chapter 5 or 6? I'm not sure. Um, it was the lady in the wheel. It was the lady in the wheelchair. You know, the one with the... The lady in the wheelchair that has like bandages around her face, around her eyes. Um, she was a pain. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was in. It might have been in on the train chapter. I'm not sure. But you had to get. Yeah, it was. Wasn't. Well, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was on the train chapter. You had. To, yeah, it was on the train chapter. <laughs> you had to. Um, like try and get close enough to her because she was like guarding a stick of dynamite and it was so hard to detect whether she was actually looking at you or not so but i think that's my only complaint that's my really only complaint other than like a few bugs but then it's like it's a game so there's gonna be bugs um that's like my only complaint that it's not obvious when like that lady in a wheelchair was like looking at you and like knew you were there and knew before all looking down so jump scares in dark serve one purpose they help establish that in a dream world anything can happen at any time however this is this isn't a game that is all about jump scares quite the contrary they rarely occur yeah a lot of the jump scares a lot of, a lot of the jump scares um happen like sporadically not counting the ones that happened after you die. So. Uh, dark is more about building tension and anticipation in between jump scares. So once the player knows that a jump scare could happen, they are more likely to stay on the edge of the seats for a long time. Yes, that's what I find good about this game. Like, the music. I feel like the music makes it, like, so suspenseful. Um, the game is designed to be a moving, uh, moving artistic experience. Elegance is the key word in Dark's art direction. It serves as a means of seduction or an invitation for the player to step in and develop an emotional connection 
I think that's supposed to be, say, develop an emotional connection with the experience as they progress. The goal is to make the player, like, a be, being there, even though they involves facing their fears. While in development, Dark won Best of the Mix Award at pa- PAX West 2018. Anyone remember PAX West? Um, it wasn't, like, super big, but I remember Stacy Plays went to PAX West, like, a, like, a lot. So that's how I heard of heard of Pax West. No, I think she went to Pax East because it was Pax West and past Pax East. So I've heard of Pax West. Yeah. Um, let me look up Pax West actually. Uh, Pax West is it still like pretty popular? Uh, there was Pax West twenty twenty one. Is there going to be a Pax West twenty twenty two? Uh, Thursday, twenty first of April, it'll be in Boston. <laughs> so I'm definitely not getting there. Okay, so uh, let's see. Created and almost entirely by first time solo developer and a few talented contractors, Dark launched to critical acclaim on Steam and GOG. What's GOG? This. <laughs> Oh, this sounds like tunic and stuff. Okay, okay. Um, since launch, Dark won numerous awards of being 40 sec- 42, 40 second, number 42 most shared PC game of 2019 according to Metacritic. As a way to say thank you to the community, two free DLCs were released, The Tower and The Crypt. So, okay, these are some of the... Um, like screenshots from the game in case you didn't um, like check out the playthrough here are some screenshots if you're thinking of getting a game uh, okay so and you can get it on like you can get it on Epic Games which is where I got it uh, wiki data okay is it is there like Um, games like Dark, there's the <laughs> things, the DLCs and the Among the Sleep. I have Among the Sleep, actually, but it, do- it doesn't work for me, so. Um, uh, okay, so... A reception. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, it's got a solid like seven out of ten across a uh, gaming, <laughs> like gaming things, critics, and then Metacritics. It was like for PC seven. It was like good seventy out of a hundred. For PC, it was seventy. So PC was the lowest scoring. Um. So this is a fairly recent game. I thought this had been out like a little longer, like maybe 2016, 2017-ish time period. But it was recently, it was released for Microsoft, it was released for Windows operating system in 2019. And then a complete edition was released in 2020 and ported to, and ported in 2021. Okay. I've I gotta go, got some stuff to do. I like the aesthetic this game had. See you next stream. See ya mania. <laughs> uh Okay. Does Dark have story? Uh Okay, it doesn't have too much of a story. Um Okay, so we have super horribles here video here on the dream journals uh, yeah, let's just see let's just get up for twitch um so i think my theory is that um let's read saber start spark because he's just gone live so um 
my theory is that Lloyd died at the end of the main game, so chapter 7. And then, uh, and then maybe his like body was found, maybe it was like his funeral or something at the end of the crypt. So, and like, maybe his soul just like, he managed to find his, like, soul gets back to his body at the end of the game. I don't know. So anyways, um, I don't really have much to do else. Um, I probably would have played Minecraft, but then again, it probably would have been like only a half an hour. So I think, I think I might leave Minecraft, Minecraft to leave uh, after, um, after, um, maybe after Dark Deception on Friday, or maybe I'll stream Sunday, I'm not sure. So anyways, um, I hope you have enjoyed the stream. I hope you check out all of my social medias down in my About Me section or in the description down below if you're checking out me out on YouTube. And I hope to see you guys next time. I've got some revising to do, so I will send you all over now to Cyberspark. Bye, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till the raid starts until I end stream. So, bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> raid.